Hey, what's going on guys? I wanted to make a quick video. It's been about a month since I last uploaded. I've been extremely busy, but my truck broke down. I'm sitting in my cab right now. And so I had a little bit of extra free time. So I wanted to pump out a quick video for you guys uh, just to make some quick content. But I've had actually something that's been on my mind recently and that's FOMO, the fear of missing out. I graduated high school back in 2018, and when all my friends went to college, I started working. And after about two and a half years of working, I was getting to a point where I didn't know if I had made the right decision. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe they were right. Maybe college was the right route to go down, and I was the idiot who had missed out on that train. But fast forward a year from then, I went to CDL school, used my stimulus check to pay for that, and now I actually earn more than most of my friends who went to college. And I did that for free with no student loan debt, nothing like that. And now I know that that was the right decision. And so I've kind of lived my life in a way where I've had to constantly battle FOMO. You know, I got married young. A lot of my peers are still um, in their partying end of college phase right now. Um, a lot of people continue to party up until their early 30s, late 20s. And I have a family that I'm raising. And I know that in the long run, I will be vindicated in that decision as well. And when it comes to purchases, whether it's buying homes or cars or clothes or going on expensive vacations, I want you to think about this. Just because you see somebody who looks like they're doing better than you doesn't mean they actually are. And in a lot of cases, you don't see the struggle that they're dealing with because it's very easy especially now in the social media age to throw on these masks and these filters to make things look so much better than they are and you're only seeing the highlight clip whether that's on church on Sunday or it's on Instagram people put their best version of themselves first and so if you're trying to compare yourself to the best version of all of your peers, you're always going to feel inadequate and you're always going to feel like you're falling behind or you're struggling. They're always going to post the picture of their brand new house, but they're not going to post a picture about them eating top ramen because they are a month behind on their credit card payment. They're, you're gonna see pictures of their brand new car, but they're not gonna post a picture of the car payment. You're gonna see pictures of the vacation, but you're not gonna see a credit card statement that actually funded that vacation because they were tricked into the reward systems on a lot of these credit cards, which by the way, credit cards are extremely predatory and credit card um, debt is at an all-time high right now. The average credit card um, is right around six and a half thousand that is carried over on a month-to-month -month basis, and that's for 70% of Americans. It's crazy. And so, just because you don't feel like you're doing as well as your peers doesn't mean you're actually not doing as well. So, I want to encourage you to continue to do what you're doing stay true to the process, continue to save, continue to invest, work hard, um, follow God, and you will be honored, and you will be surprised that in the, the short term, it'll look like you're losing. But over the long term, that's where it really, really, that's where it plays out. It's the tortoise and the hare. And so, to have that that tortoise mindset, have that long-term mindset. What is this going to look like in 10 to 15 to 20 year increments? I know that it's hard and it's against our cultural norms to be thinking that far ahead, but that is what is necessary for you to make the correct decisions. If you don't think about how is this going to feel in the moment, but how is this going to feel in the future? If you chase excellence over chasing pleasures, then your life will exponentially be better. It's like the saying goes that when you're 
expenses exceed your income, then your overhead will become your downfall. And so you wanna make sure that you are setting yourself up for success and not for failure. Because whether you succeed or fail, ultimately comes down to, in a lot of ways, your personal choices. I do understand that there are things that are outside of your control, but that's why I want you to set yourself up in a way that you can be, uh, that you can survive in those situations. I say all this because I don't want you to feel inadequate. I don't want you to feel like you're lagging. I don't want you to feel like you're falling behind. I want you to feel like you are competing, that you are keeping up. I know it's harder now than ever to succeed and to take just baby steps forward in life. But if you dedicate yourself to these things, if you chase the excellence, if you put aside the pleasure and the passion, then I promise that over the next 15, 20, 30 years, it will be worth it. Trust me. And if you're somebody of an older generation, please sound off in the comment section below and let the commenters know that what I am saying is the truth and that it is worth it to chase excellence. Um, leave anything encouraging down below for anybody that might be coming across this video and might be feeling the effects of FOMO. Um, and if you have any tips on ways that you've managed it, let me know down in the comment section below. I'm always interested in learning more and you guys are a great way to continue to educate myself. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. I hope that you found this video encouraging. Hopefully uh, I can continue to make more content in the future. I've just been working my absolute tail off working anywhere from 50 to 60 hours a week and I have a family. So I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.